What's poppin'? What's poppin', man? Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Today we're gonna talk about semen retention dreams, man. Semen retention dreams. And I'm gonna be real, man. This gonna get deep. This gonna be deep because last night, well, this it was like this morning, around probably around two something this morning, because I woke up around three something this morning. And it was crazy, man. Like today is my 27th day on 27 um uh, on semen retention, you know, and Man, it's getting real. It's getting real. Uh, last night, I had a, um, I had a dream that I was going to this club, and instead of going in the club, me and this chick, we sat outside the club. And you know how everybody got that perfect ideal person that they want in their life, like they know how she go look, or you know if a girl has the ideal guy, but you know how they go look, you know how they like the tattoos how they size go look, how they face go look. You know, everybody got the ideal person. So this was the ideal woman, bro. This was the ideal woman. And we sitting outside talking and like, I'm just like rubbing her legs and stuff like that while she talking, you know? And we talk, like we having a good conversation. Like it was like a, it was like she had the, she was all into me. I was all into her. It was crazy. It was crazy, you know? So we sitting there talking and all of a sudden, you know, like stuff started getting real. It started getting real. And, you know, we outside and we were about to, you know, make it do what it do. But then I thought about it. It's crazy how I thought about it. And I said, I can't do it because I'm gonna see my retention. And like, she was like, I want it now. And I said, I know, but I'm gonna see my retention. It felt so real because I was so sad. That I had to tell her that because it was like, how can I explain it? It was like I was being tricked. It was like if I did it, it was over. It was like it was forced. It was like it was so it was so forced, man. Like it was like it was everything. It was like too good to be true. You know, it was too good to be true, man. And I'm so glad because it's crazy in your dream how real it feels. And I woke up. I woke up, bro. I was so happy. I was so happy because it felt real. It felt like somebody created this person for me to go back, man. And I'm not like, I'm not this person, bro. <laughs> I'm a hood dude. I'm a dude I'm, that stick to the basics. I'm a dude, you know, I read stuff like that, but it's never this way here, man. And it was so deep, man. It felt so real. It was like, the force, it's like somebody was trying to force me because it was so perfect. Like the girl was just so perfect, man. She was just so perfect. It, it, it's like the movie The Matrix, like, man, it was crazy, bro. And then like, it's crazy because I was thinking, I was like, damn, I, had, I also had a dream about my grandmother, but she was young. She was like young and like, it was like in her teenage years. And like, we was just talking, but I, I just can't remember what we were talking about. You know, I just can't remember what we're talking about. But, bro, this this journey is crazy, man. It's crazy. And if anybody else experienced that, you know, like, put it down in the comments or something like that. But this journey is crazy. And I'm only on day 27, bro. I'm only on day 27. So just imagine what three months go be. <laughs> so you really got to be strong out here, man. I'm going to talk about that, bro. Uh, another thing, be careful what you watch. Be careful what you watch before you go to sleep at night when you're on this journey. You know, be careful. I don't care if you're on Instagram and you're watching, you make a mistake and watch a girl twerk, you better turn on some ESPN before you go to sleep. <laughs> you better turn on some cartoons. You better read something to, like, put something else in your mind before you go to sleep, man, because what you put in your mind, what you listen to, it's really important, man. It's really important. What you put in your mind and what you listen to is really important. What you see is really important, especially before you go to bed. Because some people can't, that's why you hear about a lot of dudes, like they relapsing when they sleep because a lot of dudes can't control themselves when they sleeping, you know? So before you go to sleep, you gotta, you gotta be alert. You know, you gotta be alert before you go to sleep. You gotta know what you uh, put into your ears and putting it to your eyes before you go to sleep because that's very important on this journey. That's very important because if you fall asleep like mindlessly out the blue and, and you was watching some girls twerk 
on uh, Instagram or Twitter, or whatever, on TikTok, it could be a rap for you. You gotta start all over. You know, it was it was almost a rap for me last night, but my mind been so my mind been so strong, bro. It's like I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped. The only person that can stop me is me. You know, it's me. Even in my dream, I was like, I can't do it. I'm on semen retention. But it was the hardest thing to do because it was like, it was like you found love. It's like, dang, she this perfect. But I, I was thinking about, it was crazy because it felt so real. I was thinking about my YouTube channel. I was thinking about, man, you got to start all over. You got, nah, I'm not going out like that. I'm not going out like that. Like this real, I'm really in the field, bro. Every day. Some days, I, like some moments, I feel sad. Hey, you'll get over it. This is what you have to go through. Because I, I told myself, if I go back, it's, it's a wrap, man. I'm going to die if I go back to the old me. You feel me? I'm going to die if I go back to the old me. I cannot go back to the old me. I cannot. I cannot do it, you know? And like I said, another thing, your mind has to be strong, man. You have to fill your mind. You have to start reading. You have to start talking to girls who, uh, if you're still talking to girls on this journey, like talk to girls with a high vibration. Don't talk to girls who go put you right back, who go temp you, you know, all kinds of stuff, man, because you don't want to be dealing with that. You really you really want to go through this journey, bro. You know, it's it's like going through hell. You got, and as a man, bro, you got to put yourself, you, you got to go through hell to become the man you want to become. I'm going to say that again. You have to go through hell as a man to become the man you want to become. You have to. You know, it ain't going to be no easy skate. None of that. It's not going to be none of that, bro. You have to go, you know, you have to go through that fire to become the man you want to become in this life. You know, it's not going to be easy. Seem retention. Nah, it's not easy. It's a, it feel like a cliche like now because like everybody talk about it for clout and stuff like that but when you really going through it bro you know how i feel you know how i feel it ain't no laughing matter <laughs> it ain't no laughing matter you laughing to keep the pain away for real i woke up this morning like man like i could have got got but my mind was right my mind right bro while i'm awake all day i'm alert you know sometimes i fade you know you you had a moments where you fade and you start reminiscing about uh, sexual positions you put girls in, but you come right back to it. You come right back to it, you know? So it's important, man, that you keep your mind strong, man, on this journey. Don't just do, don't just be doing mindless things, you know, because it's going to bring you back. It's going to bring you back to who you once were, you know? And another thing, like I said earlier, stay alert, man. Every day you should be always telling yourself stay alert stay alert keep reminding yourself okay i gotta stay alert i gotta stay alert you got you you only human so you gonna have moments where you glimpse off into daydream but when you alert you'll be able to bring yourself back you'll be able to reel yourself back you know and that's what i do man when i start daydreaming if i'm driving or something i reel myself back oh no you can't go back like that but it's a habit when you're used to having sex, you're used to hitting up girls for sex, you used to uh, watching porn, you used to going on TikTok, hitting up girls. Bruh, it's a habit. So you, you got to get rid of that habit. And it's going to be hard. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be complicated. The dreams go come. The dreams go come around 30 days. The dreams go start happening around 30 days. You know, I'm on day 27. The dreams go come, man. And they go be real. You know, I don't know if y'all ever tried like LSD or uh, shrooms and stuff. They gonna be real. They gonna feel real. You know, you have to remind yourself what journey you're on and this journey for you, you know. So y'all have a good day, man, and stay strong.